are just generally better. Uh -huh. Just having that frame data, mm -hmm. being able to move quick. But in this game, there's rage, so a lot of the slower characters have more of a chance now. Yeah. Um, and Shulk is definitely one of those characters where he has immense range, but the startup on his moves aren't as quick. Yeah. So you have to be really good at preemptively spacing, kind of reading where your opponent's going to be at. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, I mean, when this character has range, he has, like, really, really long range. I look at that back air. Yeah, yeah. Funny enough, though, with that back air, the sweet spot's actually at the base of the sword. Yes. So if you if you hit someone with, like, just the, uh, the blade part, you're not really going to get much out of it. Yeah, true. It's crazy when, like, they catch your roll. Like, you try to roll through the move, yeah. and then you get hit by the hill, the and you're like, no. part of it, too? You yeah, get hit the by the front. front part? Oh, no. Like, why is there a hitbox in front of this guy right now? Wow, OK. Crown is actually doing a really good job of trying to keep uh, Fade away from using Spin Dash, or even just running past. Oh, great. I like that. And we're talking about fast characters. Well, Sonic's the fastest, so it's going to be really hard for Crown Aether to like keep this character out with the sword, but uh -huh. he's doing a good job so far. Yeah, so just like, oh, whoa, OK, interesting. Probably tried to do the art cancel right there. Yeah. And right now, the Jump Monado 50-50s are online, so around these percents, Shulk can do an up throw into just pretty much a coin flip. If he gets it right, uh -huh. he'll get an up air. Yeah, right now, scary situation for Crown Aether, but manages to get away, lands and does a forward smash, but Sonic still living. Yep, pretty heavy. Only at 102, but we're going to... Oh, he had the Smash Monado on. Maybe he was looking for the kill, but Shield going yeah. to come, come on. I'm not on. sure about Shield at 80% against Sonic. It's not like he has any setups that can kill. Yeah, I mean, unless we're talking like a crazy like spring ride setup or anything like that. Uh -huh. But but standard-wise, yeah, Sonic definitely not going to be killing Shulk yeah. at 80. Great. I like Crown Aether's uh, use of up tilt in, in order to catch Fade's landing. Yeah. But it's just not that simple. Okay, try to go for the 50-50. Not finding it right there. Fade just... Fade's really running, man. Yeah, <laughs> running across uh, oh, yeah. Crown Aether, hoping for a reaction. But he's Crown Aether is not biting. Yeah, Crown Aether is doing a really good job. Just not overextending, really just abusing this range. Uh -huh. Using the jabs. Great jabs. Ooh. Those jabs were so good. Yeah, and he caught. The jabs put him up in the air, and most people probably would have uh -huh. just tried to finish it, but Crown Aether saw the opportunity yeah. to one, get two. this kill. Yeah, 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, and then F, F smash. Nice. Mm, it was so clean. Oh, no. Okay, you can't be doing that. Just oh. charging up smash for that long. <laughs> Does he have his double jump? Nice. Homing oh. attack. So smart. Oh. I was talking to uh, Fade about this a long uh, a while ago. He was like, oh, homing attack isn't good. I'm like, but you could do all this stuff. And he's like, you know what? You're right. You can recover with it. Yeah. And prove it today. You can use, utilize homing attack. It is a move. Yeah. And Crown Aether, I mean, there is counterplay to that. If you, like, you know, rolled away or jumped air dodge, uh -huh. there would have been no thing to home on. Yeah. Oh. But, I mean, just very hard to tell in that situation. Yeah. Right now, Fade just having a really hard time to end Shulk's stock. And let's be honest, when you have shield art on, how are you going to kill with Sonic? Oh, oh back throw, back though. should do it here. Yep. Yeah, essentially, like, you're either in shield at the later percentages or you're that's, just... That's... Oh! Yeah! As soon as he charged that down smash, it was done. With the buster, too. It was oh, done. Man. Fade held his shield a little bit too long, and that's kind of what you do against Shulk, right? Yeah. He comes in with aerials all the time, so when you see... See him coming in, you know he's going to be throwing out a move. So smart by Crown Aether. Yeah, that was really, really good play. And if you get shield broken right at the edge, uh -huh. you'll just fall right down. So you yeah. can literally just die at zero. <laughs> yep. Man, wow, so that was such good. a smart play. You can't even drop shield in the middle of it. Once you get hit by that first hit of that uh, down smash, you, you're you taking it with Buster. Yeah. No. Yeah, the, the only thing I could maybe save him is like Roll getting it. shield poked or something yeah. oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, true. Just hold your, try to hold your shield up in this yeah. game, but it's it's iffy in Smash 4. Yeah, yeah, it's super iffy. Cause like it could, it, like it could just box string together all yeah. the like two or three hits of that uh, down smash. Yeah, nice, mm -hmm. perfect mm -hmm. up tilt right there from Crown Aether. But uh, Fate taking a little bit more aggressive approach instead of uh, a lot of like kind of trying to feel out Crown Aether's movement, which is good. Yeah, I feel like just giving Shulk space, like, sometimes it can be good and sometimes uh -huh. it can be bad. It depends yeah. on, like, what you can pressure him in the mid-range, in yeah. the long range. Nice. Fade actually kind of baiting out Crown Aether's uh, down B, his counter, but just not really finding anything with it. Really, I'm not sure if he was trying to go for the iframes or not, or if Fade knew about it and respected it. Yeah, Fade is just doing a really good job. Now, now that he has this really big lead. He's not really playing in that mid-range anymore. He's either just far away or he's really up in Crown Aether's face, mm -hmm. which is really, really good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jabs to get out. Trying to go for a ledge trap. Fair, actually a really odd option to pick right there, but still managed to find a back air. Now, Crown Aether already forced into the shield model this early into the game, so this is looking 
really, really good for Fade, and he he knows like he doesn't really have to rush down the shield Monado. You don't have to get yeah, him exactly. More and that's what Fade is doing, but Crown they're finding uh -oh. three nares in a row, trying to go for the down air, but not finding it, but gets stay spiked. Oh, yeah, and unfortunately not going to be able to tech that, and he, he, I felt like he had the read there, but uh -huh. just didn't really position the down air correctly. And it's not easy to be able yes. to. You got to be able to keep up with every character's different, like, Air drift, yeah, and, all that and, stuff. Very and hard. how the, how they, your opponent will do it, because everyone's just going to drift differently, right? Yeah. So, okay. yeah, now, now Fade is just in a really good spot. He's mm -hmm. up this stock. Um, wow. already just dealing the damage. Do you see the amount of mix-up that Fade is doing right there? Oh, yeah. He tripped him up by thinking, <laughs> making him think that he's going to do spin dash and ran up and just auto-cancel up air. Hello? Crown Aether is definitely getting mixed Ooh. right now. <laughs> That's it. True confirm right there at that Dang. percent. Yo, Fade is going in. Uh-huh. Crown Aether really looking shooken up right there. Yeah, I, I, Fade just... It's crazy because he's doing such a good job in this game number two, weaving uh -huh. in and out, and when he goes in, he makes it count. Yeah. Like, really, really hard. Get that. Keep him up in the air. That's like, Shulk needs to needs to be able to land in order to put any pressure. That way, he still has his double jump. That way, he can, like, beer versus uh, yeah. Monado arts. But if you get him in the air... Not the greatest landing options, for sure. I mean, mm -hmm. his Nair does start on the bottom side. Yeah. but And it is his quickest, but it's still just not that quick. Yeah. You, and plus, if you see it coming out, just shield it and then punish accordingly, oh, yeah. right? It's like a super committal move, too, uh -huh. like on whiff punish as well. Nice. Actually, being able to cast that homing attack, the very latest part of the uh, Nair, getting a grab, too, but getting caught in the air, this is oh. really bad for Crown Aether right now. Yeah, and he's got he still has the Buster Monado on, and... Fade was able to do so much damage. Got like a full spin dash and a back nice. air. Nice. Great traps right there from Crown Aether. No double jump for Fade right now. I don't know how Ooh. he's going to make it back to the stage. <gasps> Another he's drop. Not. Wait. Oh. oh. Okay, still gets a, a up smash right there, but not able to end the stock yet. Yeah, that early up, yeah, I was surprising. I was surprised Faye didn't go for more something like a back air or something. Yeah, or, something. or even another like homing attack before he did the up B, but... Oh my goodness, look at that movement. Sonic movement, hello? Oh yeah. And another thing too is like Crown Aether did such a good job. He, he tacked on so much damage off uh -huh. that one edge guard. But like Fade be able to get back on stage. And this is where Sonic is so dangerous. When he has the stage control, he's yeah. got the spin dash going on. Nice. He's crossing up with these run through grabs. Yeah, it's super good. Because you, you see that spin dash, or you even hear it a little bit. And you, you get scared. You got a shield. Nice. That was a oh, good wow. attempt from Crown Aether. Surprised yeah. it didn't hit. And that's a great thing about Ooh, ooh the counter! Get oh. away from there, Sonic! Sonic's too fast for that! Wow, and Sonic's he was, too fast! He actually went above the counter, man! <laughs> that's, I feel so bad! Like, yeah. you actually got him! You know, there are plenty of times where Crown Aether felt like he had he had that opportunity, but yeah. it just slightly off, spa off space, and that's that's just how you have to play the character. Yeah. You have to deal with that character's faults. And back to Shield Monado we go. A pretty even game here. Well, it, it's really going to come down to, I feel like, who gets the ooh. first stock. Yeah. I, I do I do think so also. Being able to keep people in the air. Nice. I like the jabs too, because they do more damage than just like getting a grab too. Yeah. And you know with Shield Art on that he's not gonna go very far if you try to back throw him. Exactly. And now we have the jump monado and you already see like like I said, the jump monado, you can be very evasive. Like this you see that one little short hop there. Uh-huh. Nice and down tilt right there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh dash attack? Great DI. Yeah. Yeah, if you held in, you would have died right off the top. Nice. Okay. Down throw, let's see what he's gonna do. Ooh, trying to go for attack chase. Oh, just just try to wait for that shield art to disappear. It's crazy because Crown Aether is able to go for these risky forward smashes when uh -huh. he's in the shield art because he you know the punish isn't gonna kill him. Yeah, Sonic can't just run up and up smash that easily. He's gotta be able to like really space it very well, otherwise you're gonna fall out. There it is, dash attack. Yeah. Really great burst option from Shulk that not many people know kills. Alright, so oh we're going into the buster though. Uh, Crown Aether really want to snowball this lead, and that's, uh -huh. you know, with these Monados, you have those options. You have a lot of different ways to change up how you want to play here. Yeah. All right. Trying to catch that landing. Gets it with the Nair, but actually waits a little bit too long. Gets tagged by the up air. Back air hitting Crown Aether, and now it's edge guard situation. No, not again. Wow, and another spring kill on uh -huh. the stage spike. No tech coming out from Crown Aether. Yeah, and as, as a Shulk player, you should be able, <laughs> you should be ready for it. Yeah. Because you don't snap to the ledge. Yeah, you don't. You, so most characters, as they rise up towards the ledge, they, they snap it at a certain point. Uh -huh. But, you know, Shulk, Cloud, these are characters that you have to kind of like sweet spot yes. where you go to. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. A lot of pressure right now. Send him back oh! to the ground. Oh! 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 No! No oh! way! Yo! Fade! Fade! Fade, 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 fade. Got the air dodge, dunked him down with the down air, and then he just knew. He just knew!
and he just charged that S-Mash. That was like a half-charged S-Mash. Wow. 